Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. The grant system now is so porous that the uh, information is just coming out. You'll be asking yourself, how? Why? Why now? Why are these people talking now? Where were these things? When Ken was deceiving all of us? Where were they not talking? You know, so we wish to show you that all of them are accomplices in this crime. So this is the reason. The real reason for the delay exposed a delay for the disbursement. This is the real reason for the delay exposed. See on the other side, listen to this critically. You know, it's good you get yourself equipped now with information in this grand community, especially now that the things are falling apart and center cannot hold. Listen to this critically. Money to people in grant community. Good money to all were many Nigerians in grant community. Good money to all the masses in grant community. By name, I am Abansado Bamidele Michael Oluwabumi. By the special grace of God, I am the president and the CEO of ACT Global Empowerment and Humanitarian Foundation. Today is the uh, 29th of uh, May 2024. I am coming to deliver this message to the people in Grant Community, and I will title this uh, message, Fat About Grant Disbursement Delay. Fat About Grant Disbursement Delay. By the special grace of God, I am not new in the Grant Community. I am not new in the system by the special grace of God. As far back as 2016, I heard about grant processing in Nigeria, which is same grant. But due to the fact that uh, it has never happened in that way, and in that magnitude, I did not believe. Not until 2017, when some people came to me and they explained. And then I prayed about it and I informed some other people to pray. That is when God spoke concerning St. Grant. And what God told us is what is driving us to this end. And uh, I've participated in so many grants in Nigeria, mentioned them, Sam, Chapecon, Golden Bridge, Commonwealth, Supreme, mentioned them, Teobat, UAG, and some other ones which I cannot uh, be mentioning, OCR. And uh, when I'm talking about participating, I'm not talking about just participating as a beneficiary. I participated and I'm participating as an active actor in this system. And uh, to this end, we are still expecting. Today, I want to tell us some facts about grant disbursement delay. There's no way we will not have this kind of uh, experience. Due to the fact, number one, many of these uh, grants that we subscribe to that we have mentioned. Only few, I'm not saying all, only few 
that the people that we refer to as the grant handler, they are the facilitators. Same grant was facilitated by Barrister Donald Oloron Kayede. And that is why I can still tell you that uh, to some extent, there is still hope in SEM. If anything happens to SEM, Barrister Donald is going to be the one to answer. He is going to be responsible for whatever that happens because he is the one that facilitated this uh, grant. He did not inherit it based on the fact I know. He did not inherit same grant. He is the one that facilitated the grant. And um, many of these uh, grant handler, uh, let me use the language, sir, permit me, and I'm, sir, I'm very sorry uh, to use this uh, language. Many of these so-called grant handlers, they were not the one that actually uh, sought for this grant and uh, process it. If they were the ones who would not be having this kind of uh, delay, and that is fact number one, because if they were the one that sought for this grant and facilitated it, I want to tell you the little I know about grant. If it is humanitarian grant, government cannot hijack it. Government cannot hijack a humanitarian grant facilitated by an individual. Government cannot hijack it because it is meant for the masses. It is meant for the grassroots. Government can only regulate it. They can only oversee. They cannot hijack it. We can never be at the mercy of government when it comes to the grant facilitated by an individual. But we are having this kind of delay in grant community as of today because all the people that we have in the front line, the front liners, they were not the ones that actually are sick for the grant and uh, facilitated it. They inherited it. And that is why we are having this kind of a problem. And fact number two, fact number two about grant disbursement delay in Nigeria. We had uh, stories about other countries of the world that they had their grant, especially China, Ghana, that they got grants and they disbursed it. Fact number two is that there is no uh, workable system that supports the humanitarian uh, services in Nigeria. Anything that has to do with the masses, uh, no provision for it. No provision. Yes. And that is one of the reasons why we are having problem in Nigeria. There is no provision for humanitarian service. Take, for instance, government were talking about a palliative, which is meant for the poor masses in Nigeria. Let's think of it. They only pay maybe some percentage. And before you know it, everything was crumbled. Nothing. If not of you no know, recent time, that some people are still giving testimony that they are receiving a lot. But as far as this palliative is concerned, it should be uh, a process that we cut across. At the same time, the first number of people in Nigeria. But because there is no humanitarian uh, arrangement that supports the system, 
That is why we are having delay. And fact number three is that uh, our leaders, they are economical with the truth, the frontliners, they are economical with the truth. Most of the time we deceive ourselves because of what is not. That because of a security uh, issue, uh, we should not say this, we should not say that. No. We just have to let people know the truth about what is happening. But most of the time, our leaders you know because uh, they don't want people to see them as a uh, bad person, they don't want people to see them as 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 being slow. Oh, I don't know. They came out. They came out and they tell us uh, false truth. False truth. Uh, we believe that what they are saying is true, but it is not. In a real sense of it, it is not true. It is not true. And that is why we are having problem delay in grant disbursement. If our leaders, if they could come open and tell us, look at what is happening recently in the grant community. Some people came, say the government are the one causing delay, that they have done all what they could do. And uh, some other people are saying, who are the people concerned? in the government committee. No, we should be able to know some things. We are the citizens in this country. We should be able to know some things. Not everything you'll be hiding. Our leaders, we made them the leaders. The little I know about leadership, you are not a leader when nobody is following you. You are a leader because you have people behind you. You have people following you. That is what makes you a leader. So that followers should know what is happening. Because we are the one that actually made the leader to be a leader. So that the leader should be our servant. The Bible confirms that. That whosoever that want to lead among you should be a servant. But in Nigerian system, even leaders tend to be gods, demigods. That if the follower talks, uh, if the follower talk, no, they can do and undo, which is not supposed to be. And that is what is causing delay in uh, grant uh, disbursement in Nigeria. And not only that, another fact is that uh, you know, so many people believe mm, lies to be truth. Uh, there was a time I could remember I told some people when they were talking about a particular grant, I will not mention because I have not sent to uh, bring anyone down or to mention or to accuse anybody. But I just want us to know fact about what is happening in grant ecosystem in Nigeria. I told these people, I said, no, let's look at it. Uh, this person he said uh, is this person and they had, he, he, he said uh, no we should have uh, I think a uh, 50 or 100, 100 beneficiary and you have to pay 60,000 naira 60,000 naira per unit or per cluster but a cluster consists of a uh, hundred beneficiary and you have to pay 60,000 naira and uh, we have some other grants then that is okay have 1,000 beneficiaries as your uh, cluster and you pay 20 or you pay 30,000 naira. And they said, okay, if you are to, uh, the beneficiary stand to gain 30,000 and they are going to slash 30,000 naira into two. You first of all collect uh, 150,000 and thereafter you collect the balance. At the end of the day, how many people get that 
grants up to now. There are so many things like that. They will just come up and say, this grant is disbursing. And uh, you will begin to see fake alerts, fake alerts, fake alerts. And before you know, many people were rushing into the system and will all fall into the same direction. And that is what is causing problem. That is what is causing problem. Please, I am here to appeal to those ones that they have the grant. They were the ones that sought for that grant or they were the ones seeking for the grant and they are the ones doing the process to come up. I'm not saying other grants are not genuine. I'm not saying they are not going to deliver. But the reason why we are having this kind of delay is that they cannot determine when to disperse. They cannot determine because they were not the one that sought for this grant. Therefore, we are not going, we are going to wait until they are ready. Until they are ready. But I want to tell us, we have some people in the grant uh, ecosystem that they are working on their own grants and it is their new. Please, I'm call on where many Nigerians, let's support these people. I'm not talking about individuals giving them support. We have people who can support them, who can finance uh, to fast track the process of this grant. And that is why we need to come open and tell people, we must not because uh, things are not good then, we keep quiet, not talking about the good things we have among the bad ones. I will mention these two people because uh, I know little about what they are doing. I know little about what they are doing. And I will appeal to them that they should be bold and they should do what they are doing with all confidence. We don't need to wait for anybody since what you are doing is not connected to what is on grant. I would like to use this medium to appeal to Dr. Ayodele Olorufemi, Olufemi the CEO of Power of Five uh, Grants. Please and please, sir. I know the little I gathered about the empowerment program at your watch. I know you are working on a genuine project. And I want to tell you, you don't need to wait for anybody. I've had people, uh, they said, no, you should wait until other grant is bust. No, and we are still at the mercy of this other grant we are talking about as at now. Simply because we are saying, let one disburse before others. And these are the you no know, different programs entirely. As long as you are not depending on a one grant to disburse or to, to disburse your own, you don't need to wait. Let's continue. I will employ, I will beg women in Nigeria to give this kind of program full support. Individual beneficiary cannot you know, actually help the system because they don't have what it takes to fast track the process. But we have people who can support them financially so that they can get this thing done in time and give to the poor masses, the dying masses in Nigerian ecosystem. Please, let the CEO of Power of Five, Dr. Ayodele Olufemi, let him come up with this project and let when many Nigerians, people who can support this system, let them come up and support. Help the masses, please. 
people are dying on a daily basis. I'm not saying that it is the grand that is killing them. But many of them died because there is no hope for them. No hope. Many of them, they have spent a lot in the grant system. And they don't have any hope again. Some people will say, uh, 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 the reason why people are dying is because, uh, why can't, because when we started, I know what drove us when we started. It's okay, well, when you come up, you are going to get 3 million naira. I think uh, in same uh, grant then, uh, you are going to get 3 million naira. As a then, if one get 3 million naira, you can start a good business. And that is the motivating factors as at that time. So that people now know they invested everything they have to the extent that it affected the businesses, it affected you no know, finance of so many people. Many people they are indebted presently, everyone, heavily indebted. And if they think of doing a business, there's no money to do it unless this grant disburse. Please. I'm begging. Let's support those ones that we know that they have a genuine grant and they were the ones you no know, seek for this grant and they are the one doing the process now. Please let's support them. Let's support them. And I want to call on another grant handler, which is a engineer, Dr. Imeka. History, Kama is the CEO of uh, Fusion Skill Development Center, Nigeria, and uh, the CEO of uh, Skill Builder Foundation in South Africa. By the special grace of God, I know a lot of a lot of things about this uh, process. Right from the beginning, I know mm, a lot of things about this process and uh, I'm putting it before him because I know uh, he's going to get this uh, message initially when I when he came up with this idea I told him let's start but because uh, no the foreigner I mean or the, the, the those grants that we have involved mm, we still have open them he told me he said, ah, man of God that's Let's wait until some other grant is bought so that we will have enough money to do the processing. And I said, okay, there's no problem. Good idea. And uh, we started. Telpecom, Phil, uh, Golden Bridge, Phil, uh, Commonwealth, Phil, mm, Tilbert, One. And to this end, we are still there. Not until recent time when things are so bad that is when we now came up with this idea and uh, this grant i'm talking about is genuine is capable of deliver to time but there is no financial capability to process this thing further and that is why i am calling on where many nigeria to Call this man. Get the number. I will let I will, I will I will tell you the number. Call him. Ask questions about this. Ask questions. I want to believe this man is open to questioning. He is the one sought for this grant. And the grant is genuine. And is the grant is under processing. And we don't want to bothered individual beneficiaries we are calling on where many nigeria to come on board to assist this process we have some people who have enough that if they support the system it's not going to affect them as such let them come and assist this man so that we can actualize this uh, dream please if you know that you no, know, you love the masses, let's support these people. We have some other people that I cannot mention their name, 
that they are working on their own grant too and it is genuine let's support them i'm not saying that the poor masses should be contributing but it is the poor masses that have been contributing to all this grant we are talking about look at what i mean all, all the grants that you no know, we, we have subscribed to with the fact that uh, you no know, the, 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 we were told that uh, the grant is very ready we spent heavily on them can you imagine and if we have little hmm, like 25 percent of what we have spent on the grant that they told us that it is existing in nigeria if we have the 25 percent of the money we spend we can get the money that we are expecting from all these genuine ones that our people are working on we have people that they are working on their own grants if we know any of this let's support them let's support them please and please for the sake of people who want to actually help the poor masses you can call on this man engineer maker camera call on him asking questions is open is ready uh, fisher scale grant is genuine and is under the process and we are counting the the number of days now but we need to know we need to work on some uh, on some processes before we can get this grant mm, disbursed to the poor masses in nigeria and that is why if you are here to support you can call a whatsapp engineer you make a camera the country administrator of a fusion ski grant on 080 080 3061 0515 let me call that number again 080 3061 0515 call in ask him some questions this grant is very genuine please and please let's help ourselves let me tell you no nigerian government cannot help the situation for now nigerian government cannot help the situation we can only help ourselves please and please let's join hands together to help the people that are working on their grants genuinely let's help them please let's relieve the poor masses let's relieve them we have people who can you know who can show that the responsibility who can come in as a stakeholder please let's help the situation let's help the situation and the lord will uh, show us mercy the lord will show us mercy please i'm not saying all other grants are not genuine i'm not saying that they are going to deliver uaag they are going to deliver but in their own time but if we can support all these uh, people that are working singularly on their own grants if we can support them you no know, and uh, they pass through all the processes they can determine when to disburse their own grants government will only regulate it government will only regulate it please and please I want us to you know help me let's send these messages to you know where million nigerian send it to people who can help us out we have suffered enough in this uh, grant uh, community today is 29th of may 2024 do we have hope of getting a disbursement this month do we have hope how long are we going to stay in this valley let's try to help ourselves once again i'm still calling on anyone that is working on a grant genuinely to please come up and let people who can support them let them support enough is enough of you no know, supporting what is not real what's it? 
we cannot determine there was a time you know we walk on a particular ground and the person said he is traveling during the covid he said no he's traveling to go and bring the money and we contributed heavily and after the whole thing nothing was done again there was a time we went for a, a training concerning a grant hmm? i think in your state in about after they training so many people you no know, they incurred debt because they told us that we should go and buy a laptop computer system and the many people they went and borrowed the money to buy that system after the training what else what next i mean do we get anything out of it up to now nothing was done and nobody say anything about it again please and please please i'm begging whosoever that can help us out those ones that they are working on their own we hold them responsible since they are not telling us that the program is being sponsored by the government or it is being monitored by the government what i know about grant process is that as long as you follow all the governmental protocol you don't need to have any problem with no government when it is time for disbursement every paper you need to have you have it then government can only tell you this is how you should do it yes as long as you get your grant genuinely and you are the one that worked for it you can determine when to disburse in collaboration with your donors please let's come to the aid of poor and dying nigerians things are happening we that we are in the local level we are seeing a lot there are so many of our members that they are in hospital now that they are in problem many many of them they cannot pay their house rent they cannot pay their house rent many they cannot pay the school fees of their children a lot of things many many marriages are scattered because of this grant the wife packed out because the man could not finance the family again please and please i'm begging i'm begging let's help ourselves the little we could do we are going to give a hand please and please enough is enough let's stop you no know, deceiving ourselves let's face the reality i know there are money there is money in the circulation nobody can tell me that there's no money in nigeria we can all uh, uh, i mean uh, we can all uh, we can all attest to it you can testify about the the the, 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 the abundant money we have in nigeria we have money in our governmental system individually we have people we have some individual in nigeria that they can feed nigeria for six months or a year and nothing will happen to their money they will not feel it that they are spending money we have them in nigeria individual why are we sovereign please let's come to the aid of these dying masses many of us you know somebody was you no know, was talking I said, if I come to the grant community because of, of what we gain, I would have get a car, buy, I mean, or build my own house, have my own land. But no, that is not the purpose of coming to the grant community. I'm not saying, no, it is bad. But many of our uh, you know, leaders, many of the, you know, the, the NGOs, Many are sovereign presently. Mm. The righteous ones are sovereign. Those ones that they don't want to soil their hands, they are sovereign. They are sovereign. If you cannot tell lies, people that cannot tell lies in the grand community, they are sovereign. They are sovereign. Those that are enjoying now, it is those people who can tell lies. Sometimes ago, somebody called me and was telling me that so-so grant is going to disburse on Wednesday that 
people should come and subscribe. Uh, and uh, this is the fifth week now. No disbursement from their grant. And I told them, I told those people, I said, no, even the grant handler, the person handling that grant, is not the one that is giving them the date. But people are handling. When they need the money, they will just come. I said, okay, a guy just told us now that uh, disbursement is coming up, uh, coming when I, uh, this Wednesday. And uh, if you have to do anything, or you have to be fast about it. And before you know it, people will begin to go and raise money, borrow and uh, you know, loan money and you give to them and after the whole thing they will tell you another story and that is what is causing problem please and please let us be sincere to ourselves let us be sincere to ourselves and when you look at it the beneficiary too we don't understand the, the process please not everybody in the grant community that are relevant we are the one causing problem to ourselves when you know that this person what he's saying is not true why are you sending it to another person you see a write-up you see a voice note that is you no know, uh preaching falsehood mm? a write-up that is full of lies and uh, you see it, you send it simply because uh, the person that is uh, sending it to you it is a close person or it is a figure or it is a, it is a voice that is well known in the grand system and that is why you begin to share it share it share it all over and before you know it for first wood will be spread all over no let's try to understand some things in the in this system some people they will just sit down at the corner and they will be giving the voice note and they will be talking as if they are in the center of things and before you know it simply because uh, you no know, they have been doing the voice note people have you no know, they are familiar with their voices and uh, people will begin to spread it please and please let's try to help ourselves i'm talking to the masses now let's try to help ourselves and let's be prayerful let me put it before you i'm not trying to be spiritual nigeria is a no spiritual israelite god loves us in nigeria if not because of the love of god the situation now would have turned to be another thing entirely look at what is happening it this what is happening in nigeria cannot happen in any in any country of the world that there will not be a problem people are dying People are suffering, and you are still telling them, be, be, be calm, let's remain calm, and we are, we remain calm. That is to tell you that uh, Nigeria, no, we are law abiding. God loves us. And that is why we have to be prayerful. God wants to, He wants us to live a better life. And by the special grace of God, the purpose of God for our life will come to pass. Please and please. Help me to send this voice note to people that are concerned. Please, send it. Let people listen to it. And let us do mm, the right thing once. Let's stop attacking ourselves. And this person is, you no, know, I said something the other time. You no, know, because of what people went through, they will be attacking because you have been paying right from the same day. And uh, you'll be attacking the new grant now. No, and we can't blame ourselves. Grant is grant. Please, let's try to understand the trend of things in, in the grant uh, ecosystem and let's try to be truthful to ourselves. Leaders, stand up. Let the people know that you stand for the masses. Uh, feel what people are feeling. Feel it once. I pray God Almighty will help us. I want to stop here. As God is permitting me to come up some other time, I'll still come up. But I want to say thank you to everyone who had the opportunity of listening to my voice notes. Once again, my name is uh, Aban Sadobandele Michael Oluwabomi, the CEO and the president of uh, Act Global 
Empowerment and Human Interior Foundation. Thank you. God bless you.